Alright guys, what is up? We're back with some more Miami Heat My GM, and today we are facing those LA Clippers after getting a surprising victory up against the Cavaliers in last week's episode. And hold up, there's a nope. Rebound from Hassan Whiteside, and he gets the extra chance points. But we beat the Cavaliers and then went on another losing streak. So, uh, we're not still doing not too good, so... Look at Hassan Whiteside getting it done in the first quarter. He had an outstanding game. Uh, and I, I, I think you come to expect it from Hassan Whiteside. Uh, he has been crazy good. And again, look at the pass. This time, he's getting an assist pass over to Josh McRoberts. 4-3. to three, And it is already 7 to nothing. Hold on. And uh, yeah, Blake Griffin doing what he normally does. And there's a dunk. And there's Chris Paul. He comes up, stops, pops a 3. Now we're only winning by two. They changed that really quick. And okay, Hassan Whiteside doing everything out here. And again, can he get another one? The answer is yes. The dude, so many points in the first quarter. It was insane. Uh, eight points in the first quarter. Uh, that was that was an outstanding job. But look at Chris Paul. Getting the floater goes off the backboard. And that one's going in for sure. And there's Jamal Crawford. And now they take the lead by two, so we got to get the lead back. Uh, oh, look at that dribble move from Tyler Johnson, and he gets the uh, layup. So it's now tied 19-19. Look at Tyler Johnson, and they did not try to guard that man. He goes in there and takes the massive dunk. Um, he's been doing that all season, especially off the bench. Like I talked about last game when I had the Cav we played the Cavaliers. I want him to come off the bench nonstop. I don't want him starting anymore unless there's injuries. As the first quarter goes to an end, we are up 23-19 because he comes off the bench energized and he really does better off the bench. I don't know if anybody else got a player like that if they're on my GMs, but uh, as there's a point right there, so we're to, oh, only winning by two. But what I'm trying to say is, okay, Tyler Johnson again now, that time with a three. Does anybody else when they play my GM have that one guy that you got to keep on the bench? Because he just comes off firing all cylinders. So does Dion Waiters. And there's another three. So we are winning by eight. As I was trying to get that long uh, sentence out of my mouth. They popped two threes. So that's pretty good. So here we go. Luke Rashad in by Mute. I can barely say the dude's name. I think I got it right there actually. He makes the layup. And now look at Austin Rivers. Now Austin Rivers, Josh Reddick tying the game up. And now look at him again taking the lead by three. So Josh Reddick with an outstanding game. Now there's Jamal Crawford. And he just extends the lead to six. So not a good way to end the second or first half. Uh, Josh Richardson tries to change up uh, the first half big time. And look at Drogic as we now take the lead. We thought we were going to go to the first uh, half down uh, it doesn't happen because now we're tied this whole first half is so crazy I can't even get anything off without having to change the score so uh, here's Hassan Whiteside 12 seconds to go in the first half passes it over to Justice Winslow sets the screen and back over to Hassan Whiteside and it's probably going to be the end of this first half now tied 41-41 Hassan Whiteside. He had 12 points, three assists, and one block. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Heat? They were really efficient on offense. She had the basketball well. So here we are. Start of the second half. This second half is about as crazy as the first half. Let's see if we can get off a sentence, though, without having to stop and talk about this game. Because there's stuff that I want to talk about, but the highlights matter I'd say a little bit more so here's Chris Paul coming to the court passing over to DeAndre Jordan back to Chris Paul and he is going to try to get a shot to go to take the lead and they're gonna pass it over to Blake Griffin he's gonna go around for the fadeaway and oh you got to be kidding me gets the assist from the backboard and makes the bucket so now we're only winning I mean now we're tied 43 to 43 from Josh Richardson they were winning they're not anymore because look at Josh Richardson again with a three to give us a three-point lead and now they're gonna leave Justice Winslow right open what is wrong with you we take the lead by four and look at Drogic Wesley Johnson you've got to jump a little bit earlier than that and that would have been a lot better of a play so there's Derek Williams 
he's going to get that one to go. Uh, he has come off the bench this game and had an outstanding game. Look at this. Look at that. Somehow he gets it to go. Paul Pierce was pissed, but you fouled him, and he's going to be able to get the end one. Guys like Tyler Johnson, Derek Williams, and Deion Waiters are a great big three. They're not a big three, but they're a big three coming off of my uh, bench, so that, I'd, I'd, I'd call that a big three in my book. But we're up by 11. About two seconds to go in this third quarter, and look at Dion Waiters. We are up big going into the fourth quarter, 67 to 53. So here we are, start of the fourth quarter. Look at that hook shot as Hassan Whiteside extends the lead big time. So here's Wesley Johnson, and he's going to go in for the easy layup. No defense really to stop him there. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened here either. Josh Richardson just gave up on that play, let Chris Paul get the easy three-pointer, and he's going to come back up the court and take the lead even higher, and so does Hassan Whiteside there. It's deep. Yeah, to Jordan. You got to play better than that. He just made you look like a fool. And Josh Reddick, are you kidding me there? There's a three. Pass over to Justice Winslow. He's going to go away from Wesley Johnson. And there is the dunk at 79-66. to 66. Now, here we go later on in the fourth quarter. 81-72 to 72 now as they cut the lead down. And this is where this game got sloppy. We turned it over there. They didn't capitalize. So, here's Roger coming up the court trying to uh, pass it over to Justice Winslow and Wesley Johnson. Took that one. And let's see if they can capitalize on this one. Goes in for the shot, and you could have just not shot that, and he misses it. I don't know what he was thinking. Try to go in the paint and get a layup. He's still a minute to go, so here's Josh McRoberts trying to pass it over to Son White. I mean, young Dre Jordan stripped the ball, so here's Wesley Johnson. And again, what is this dude shooting? Why? Uh, he misses another bucket. So this game feels like it should be close to being tied up now because of all these turnovers. And they didn't capitalize on it, and we'll take that. Because look at Josh McRoberts going in there for the easy dunk. And I, I, this game should be a lot closer at this moment in time. And now they cut the lead down to nine. But it was sloppiest play. Again, another sloppy play. We just handed it to Blake Griffin there. So only about 30 seconds to go in this fourth quarter. And look at Paul Pierce. 83 to 79 now. And there's Drogic. And they're going to have to foul him. It's going to have to be an automatic foul to stop the clock. And there's Jardik with the first one, and he misses that one. So that's not a good way to end this game. Let's see if we can get this second one. And that's a green light, and that's going in every time. So 84-79 to 79 now with 28 seconds to go. In the fourth quarter. And like I said, it should be a lot closer. I'm not going to lie. Maybe they should have the lead, but they if they didn't capitalize on those turnovers, we would have been in rough shape. So here we go. Chris Paul with the mid-range jump shot. He misses that one. Pass over to Hassan Whiteside. They're going to have to foul him, so great job fouling him. We were just trying to pass it up the court to waste time. We passed it to the wrong person. Now Hassan Whiteside's at the free throw line. He makes one of them, and it's 85-79 with 22 seconds to go now. So let's see if we can stop the Clippers from making a basket. So there is Blake Griffin. Gets by Josh McRoberts. And look at that shot. Somehow makes a difficult shot. And now we're only up by four. So Drogic, look at that. They are not even fouling him. What's going on? And they just had a brain fart there. They let Hassan Whiteside get the easy dunk. And time just went up the clock. So they're going to have to be quick here. It's 81 to 87. We got the lead. About eight seconds to go. Look at DeAndre Jordan. Not the one you want to have the ball in at this moment. Look at Wesley Johnson missing that one. And that's going to be the ball game. Sloppy play from both teams in this fourth quarter. This one looked ugly the last one minute, last one to two minutes of the game. Uh, the Heat held on. We held on to the victory even though I felt like we shouldn't have. Next game we play, we're going to have to tighten up our play in the fourth quarter. Or if we play a different team like a Cavaliers again and we do that, we are losing. So, uh, yeah. Scoring a pretty good performance you put on tonight in front of the fans. Yeah, great feat for us, for our fans. They were amazing. This, this kind of games is really 
enjoying the play. We are hustling on every play, defense and offense, and you know, I'm really happy that we won that game. Yeah, I know that's what you thought it would be like when you got here, and it was like that tonight. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now time to go to Ernie Johnson, who's alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny. The he was not to be denied in the fourth quarter, and his teammates could sense it. They kept feeding him the ball, and he kept delivering points. When you talk about Whiteside, you're talking about a guy capable of putting up 20-20 every single night. We've seen him do that more than a few times, and he's going to keep doing it. His rebounding is fantastic. He's always around the ball, and his timing is outstanding. This guy has great shot-blocking instincts. His whole game tonight operating on another level, Ernie. And he wasn't just allowed to do whatever he wanted to do. He earned it. That's where the pride So, Hassan Whiteside finishes the game with 28 points, 13 rebounds. Josh Richardson with 14. Dragic with 12. And that is going to do it here for this video. Uh, Derek Williams with 9. Todd Johnson with 8. And Deion Waiters with 6. So, they all contributed off the bench. But that's going to be it for this episode. Like, subscribe, and comment. We got a My Career coming up tomorrow. I am out. Thank you so much for watching.